Hello everyone, we're going to do a quick short video talking about uh, MathCat's key feature and that's its units intelligence. We, we see a lot of positive things from this, you know, a lot of people love this feature. I think it's really important, especially if you're working with MathCat spreadsheets to do your engineering calculations. Uh, this, this carries a lot of weight and is very important to, to use and to utilize. So let's take a look at what we're kind of talking about here. So it does three main things. The first thing is it carries all the units that you're using through your calculations for through all your calculations. So if you set a unit at the top of your spreadsheet, the rest of your spreadsheet will have that unit carried forward, right? Uh, the, the second big one is it converts units as you go in equations. So when you have an equation that requires some sort of internal conversion, you don't have to worry about putting in that conversion, you know, converting from megapascals to, to normal pascals, right? You don't have to put in that, that calculation to do that. It'll automatically do that. Um, additionally, one of the most important features of this is it flags the unit-related errors. So when, you, when you're working in Excel, you don't have a, a big red box that pops up when you have a wrong unit or you have a wrong calculation, right? It spits out a number, and that's the, that's the number that you think is correct. Well, you know, that, that can cause a lot of errors, right? We, we found that a lot of Excel spreadsheets will have errors that are undetected, and it'll carry along through the entire design process till, till it becomes apparent after you've maybe manufactured it or you release it to the public. So we're going to show you how MathCAD competes with that and how it's a lot better. So we have this basic case, right? It's a, a very simple engineering example of a, of a basic beam with a, with a load on it, W, and we're going to try to calculate that beam deflection. So the first thing we do in all our MathCAD spreadsheets is we define our input variables. Now, you probably do this in your Excel spreadsheets. You do this with all your other engineering calculations, right? But you define your variables. So we have a, a list of variables with different units, right? We have meters, gigapascals, a moment of inertia. All this looks good to me, right? This is all that we would expect to see in a calculation like this. Then we have this large formula. Right, this large formula, you know, determines the deflection at at a certain point x. Okay, so you know that's all great. It looks nice and clean. It's a long formula, but everything's nice and clean, right? And then down here we get our answer. You know, we, we get an output of our answer. We can kind of convert it to the desired units we want. So if you know this is now millimeters, say instead I want to see what the deflection is at the midpoint in centimeters, right? I can type in centimeters and it converts that on the spot and on the go um, without screwing anything up. Um, additionally, uh, the kind of third thing we noted is that you can see when there's an error. So when you're typing this out, right, we're always going to make a mistake. We're always going to forget to put, you know, square that unit. We're always going to forget to multiply that unit instead of, you know, a, you put it, uh, putting addition on that. So let's say we made an error going through this, right? Say we forgot to square this this uh, operation. As you can see, we have uh, big red boxes pop all over the place indicating that we have an error somewhere. Right? We see a box saying that the units aren't com compatible, meaning somewhere in our equation y of x, the, the units are incorrectly typed. Um, or or we, ha we, have some, we have an operation missing. So it enables us to, to guess, to, to see what we're going, see what we're doing wrong as we're going through our calculations. We can go back and fix what we're doing on, on the spot. That way we don't get to the end of this and, and figure out, oh wow, we, we made a, a very bad calculation. So the last thing I want to show you is this in Excel. Right, this entire equation I actually went through and replicated this entire equation and put it into Excel. Okay, and that was it was, it was not a fun task to do, um, but as we can see here, I have all the all the the same input variables, right? Lane, load, position. What that we see here, um, I put all the 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 basic you know number numbers in with you know marking what their units would be. Um, I did no conversions at this point. I thought, okay, let's first try it out with just the numbers and, and do the calculations kind of on the spot. Um, I assume that x was at seven point five, you know, that's that's pretty that's pretty simple. It's at the midpoint. Um, and I ran the calculations, right? I look how long look how long this is, right? First look at how long this equation bar is. I have no idea what's going on in here. You know, there's a bunch of parentheses, there's a bunch of letters and numbers right next to each other. That's not how math should work. That's not how we should see our engineering calculations, right? We have no idea what's going on in here. We don't know if I made a mistake in here. I, by, by all means, I could have one of these uh, multiplications could have been an addition. I would not have noticed because it still would have spit out spit out a number, right? And, and it did do that. Um, it spit out this number, negative 7.37. I'm not quite sure what units it's in. I'm assuming it's going to be in meters. Uh, that's great. Is that the right answer? Probably not. Deflecting negative 7.37 meters is, is quite a bit. But where did, where did I go wrong? One of the, and I, I look through this again. I'm like, okay, what could I have done wrong? Did I, did I mess up one of these, you know, uh, quantities, these these operations? Um, I figured out after kind of looking at this for ten minutes that, well, duh, I forgot to do unit conversions, right? This is in this is in imperial imperial units. This is in inches, you know, 
fourth and it should be in meters to the fourth. So I had to do that conversion and I re, I re, I put it back in and there was another error. You know, I'm like, okay, well, now, now the number is too large. What do I do? Uh, I, you know, and then I figured out, oh, I forgot to convert gigapascal. So the, the point of this is eventually I got to the right answer, but it took me a while and I didn't see where I went wrong. I had to do some guess and check. I had to pull out some of these chunks and figure out what that was adding up to and, and use a calculator and figure out where I was going wrong. So, but with MathCAD, I can easily see what I'm doing wrong and, and where it's, where it's, uh, where it's wrong. Um, and so all the, con the unit conversions in, internally without me having to do the conversions in my head or on a piece of paper on the side. Um, so that's kind of all I want to show you with the unit intelligence. Uh, it's very powerful, very, very important to do. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to us and we can kind of talk more about this and how it could be useful to you. Uh, thank you for watching. You have a good day.